Okay, we are going to apply some of our basic flexural stress um, models here. We've got a steel W24 by 68 subjected to a moment of 360 kip foot with respect to the major axis. And we're going to ask the question about, well, what's the maximum flexural stress? And then find the factor of safety uh, with respect to yield if the steel is of a particular type. All right, so let's go find this here. And so for our first step, let's find the max stress. And okay, so it's about the major axis. Now, remember the major axis is also known as the, the strong axis. And it's the one with the largest second moment of area, which in the wide flange shapes is always going to be IX. Well, always except for where it isn't. There's some very unusual, very heavy columns shapes for industrial power plants that might not turn out to be that way. So you do have to pay a little bit of attention. But for almost all W shapes, that would be the case, that IX is the major axis. right? But it's always the largest I, no matter what. right? And so here, then, what we're saying is, let's go find sigma X for bending. That model is that. That's going to be equal to not just my over i, but my over i. Now, we have a doubly symmetric uh, cross section. We have two different axes of symmetry. And so with respect to the major axis, then this distance that is the outer fiber to get to the max, that c value, would be the same whether we went to the top or the bottom. Right, so that's really mc over i. and we know that this is tabulated, the C and the I business, as F, capital S to make that calculation a little bit easier for us. And this is all with respect to the x-axis here. So we got 360 kip feet. And then I know that right off the bat, I'm going to want that in kip inches because I want a stress that has units of KSI, PSI, and I'm going to be dividing this S by the I over C, which is length to the fourth divided by length, or length cubed, and we have it tabulated for us as 154. Um, it's actually, if you do the calculation, 154.4 uh, cubic inches, and then that will be, we hope about 28, because that's what someone told us it was, but Let's see what happens. 360 times 12 divided by the 154. And we get, yeah, right about 28 uh, KSI. And that would be either compression or tension, depending on, on whether we're top or the bottom. But it's the same overall maximum stress. <coughs> right? And then we're asked to find the factor of safety. with respect to yield if the steel is A992 grade 50. Now, if you do this a lot, you have to look up this value in a table. In this particular case, the yield stress for A992 grade 50 turns out to be equal to 50 KSI. The grade oftentimes is the value that we take for the yield stress. You don't always see this, though, in the designations for the various metals. Um, and sometimes it's an alphanumeric, and you just have to look it up. This one really is literally then, then this grade is the yield stress in KSI. So our factor of safety, then, would be our criterion stress divided by our max applied. And in this case, that would be, then, our criterion stress of 50. KSI divided by 28 KSI will end up with a non-dimensional number. And I get the reciprocal here. That's the utilization ratio, it turns out. Um, 0.56 is saying we, we've taken 56% of the material's strength. And if I take the reciprocal of that, that's a factor of safety, and that's where we get the 1.78. So it says I have a 78% reserve 
in this particular situation, which, as I recall, <coughs> that our minimum factor of safety for bending, so long as we don't have any buckling issues associated with the compression flange of the section, is something like 1.667 or 5 thirds. Um, I could be wrong about that, so don't take me literally. I'd have to go look that up again because it's been a while since I've used it. <coughs>